In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good people. Fifteenth day of June. It is today, Wednesday. And therefore that means it is the fifteenth day in our 31 days novena for married women as they pray for their husbands. Tomorrow we will be halfway, halfway the novena. I'm just thanking God for the journey that we are taking. Our gracious married women, I thank God for you. Please keep the spirit. Even if it is becoming difficult as we had yesterday in the questions, please do not give up. Allow me today and tomorrow to deviate slightly from the novena. I reflect together with you on a topic that, uh, of course, I think we did in the past. But it's important that we do this because I feel I should share with you some piece of advice and wisdom. <clears throat> and this is about suicide. And today, I want us to look at the possible. In fact, I think some of this uh, information is on my page. Uh, so you can also go to my page and you'll find it. That I think it was... Uh, Posted on on Monday uh, around eight thirty or thereabout, but you can check it there anyway. Um, suicide is just bad, <clears throat> and suicide raises questions that will never have answers. But there's a quick question, eh? What would make somebody to not only contemplate, but commit suicide? There are so many reasons why people commit suicide, young and old, men and women. One of the reasons why people commit suicide is betrayal in an intimate relationship. There are people who die for love, who can't handle it anymore. And this happens across the world. However, statistics tells us that the people who are more likely to die because of love are women. A woman will, can easily choose the path of suicide to finally solve her emotional problem. But also men do commit suicide because of this reason. But the numbers tell us that uh, women will more li are more likely to die uh, out of, because of love more than men will do. Maybe we can, we can probe the, the rationale in another, in another video. The second one is business deal gone wrong. A case of conmanship. Maybe you spent a lot of money to buy a piece of land only to realize that there was no land. You just got duped. Or you bought a vehicle, paid fully for it, only to realize that uh, it was conmanship. You'll be waiting for your vehicle, the month, especially those of you who, who import vehicles. You've been waiting for your vehicle, I'm told, or so I read, that to import a vehicle from whichever part of the world, uh, especially if you are in whichever country you are, I'm told that uh, the minimum days it will take should be about 28 days. The maximum can go up to 60 days depending, but not more than that. Uh, that means if you bought yours and this is your fourth month waiting for it, there could be a problem. However, people will commit suicide because of these things. And I'm told, or statistics show us, that uh, men are more likely to die for this kind of a reason more than women will uh, because of the attachment that men have with physical, physical things. So that's another reason 
why people can commit suicide. When I see a certain gender or a certain category is more likely to do this, I don't mean that, that the others cannot. The others can, but comparatively, we look at the numbers. Who are more likely? Number three, somebody who is feeling ashamed to see the family go down the drain because of either hunger or neglect. Mostly mothers will go this path. Even dads will go this path. When they feel that uh, no food, no love, rejection, everything, ostracization, and here I am facing death, imminent death. So somebody will choose that path. The greatest tragedy of this is that somebody may kill themselves and then make sure that they go together with the whole family. We have had husbands who killed their wives and children to solve a problem permanently. So, the husband has committed suicide, but the others have been killed. So that one is even complicates, or it's already complicated. But my point is made that yes, shame of seeing a family get extinct will make somebody to opt for suicide. Number four is the emotional fatigue, which is occasioned by, among others, accumulated debt, suppressed grief, or uh, maybe public scandal. Now, allow me to mention two things here. Eh? One, about the debt. There are people who are not able to handle debt when it has taken another angle. That you look at the debt that you have incurred, you don't see yourself paying in this world. So somebody may feel that uh, instead of staying here and seeing myself uh, die because of this, let me kill myself. The other one is the question of um, suppressed grief. Losing family members or loved ones in quick succession and not having enough time to mourn them to deal with the loss. It can impact a lot on our uh, emotional well-being. And somebody may take this path because they feel that no, enough is enough. I have really agonized because of this or the other one or the other one. So yes, it is true, somebody will kill themselves because they have not been able to handle grief properly. Or maybe there is public scandal. How will my parents see this? How will my children see this? I better kill myself. Reason number five is generational tendencies. Did you know, good people, that there are some families that are more prone to suicide than others. Every time somebody tells me that uh, so-and-so committed suicide, so I ask, in their family, has there been any other case of suicide? If there has been, then you know how that it is time to, to break the jinx. I shared with you that I have buried a woman who had committed suicide. In her family, her dad died out of suicide. The father committed suicide. The mother committed suicide. Her brother committed suicide. Her two sisters committed suicide. So we buried her, and in that family, there was left one sister. So you can imagine in that situation. So when you are dealing with that kind of a case, that one is more of a generational issue than just an accident. Of course, there is what we call accidental suicide as part of another reason. 
But the, the point is, eh, it is also good to note that generationally, people can commit suicide. Allow me to pick it up from there tomorrow morning. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday.